Delta Neutral Trading. Hi guys, this is Mehdi at Choosing Options. Today is July 17th and I wanted to talk to you guys about Delta Neutral Trading. Uh, what is it? So basically it's for the type of trader that doesn't care or doesn't know or doesn't want to guess which, which way is the market going. So they put on calls and they put on puts and deltas on all, every stock or ETF or whatever they sell or buy should add up to zero on both sides. For instance, I just um, placed the order on Macy's today, a strangle. So I made sure it's like delta 10 on each side, uh, minus 10 and put side 10 on call side. So when you add it, it totals up to zero. That's delta neutral. So as long as the option fluctuates between those two points between call and put, uh, I should be okay. Uh, let me show you. Uh, before you put on any order, um, you have to find the you know the proper option or ETF to sell. Uh, this is a scan that I ran of the whole market. Uh, if you look up here, it shows you the, all these columns from in my first video, but I'm going to briefly describe what are these columns. Well, the first column is the actual symbol of the stock or ETF. The price is this one. Price change, and here's the volume. Now, the standard deviation is um, daily standard deviation of the stock. Uh, if it is uh, higher than one or lower than minus one, I won't trade the stock. That means it's uh, moving too fast. Um, Implied volatility percentile is the, the most important column. The higher it is, the better off you are. Uh, if you look, go down the list, here's the spiders. Spiders uh, today were trading around 41 percentile. So that means 41 percent of its own range of high and low. So anywhere, I won't trade anything below this line. Anywhere above it is what I want. And historical volatility minus the implied should be a positive number. Should be consistently, uh, implied volatility should be consistently higher than the historical volatility. Uh, 52 weeks high, 52 weeks range is um, basically anywhere between 5% and 95%. Anywhere below five or 95 is too close to the edge, I don't trade it. Okay, these two columns are, are related to these four. Here's the implied volatility column. Here's the historical 30-day column. This is a two weeks column, historical volatility. This is a one week column. So every time, this monthly is greater than two weeks and two weeks is greater than one week, you should see a one here. So for instance, this one, you see 14, 12, 12.99, 12.39. So triggers a one. These are the ones that I trade because it's, it's a sign of volatility sloping down. So it will drag the implied volatility down. So, yeah, that was a brief. So look, take a look at my first video that I, that I showed earlier, and it'll, it'll describe all of this better. Anyways, um, let's go through the line. Let's see here. IBM. I didn't trade it because all these reds, they mean the earnings are close by less than 30 days. I average around 27 days. If I sell a stock for one dollar, 
when it goes down to 20 cents, I'll take it out. That is if it's up to 45 days going out. If, if it is more than 40, between 45 to 60, I go 65% and I take it out because the decay is a little slower. Uh, that would be give roughly about the same timing as far as, you know, how many di days, uh, you know, why average. Um, okay, so IBM, this is one, IBM earnings, earnings, earnings. This is the earnings season. So it's pretty, it's gonna be very hard to find a trade. I do Intel, uh, Harley, John Deere, this is a borderline. I just uh, closed the contract on this one with a 65% uh, profit. You can look at my videos. Um, VX trading um, earnings. All of this, this is GM, CI. This is all earnings. Walmart was a close call too, but that's uh, earnings. About 29 days from now. Uh, Disney, oh, Disney is good, yeah, but uh, I already have Disney in my portfolio, so I look for something else. LNC earnings, MGM is earning, I think AXP is American Express, that's earnings. So these are all earnings coming up within the next 30 days. I don't want, uh, I'll usually go over 30, maybe 35 days. Okay, let's see. All right, Celgi is also earnings. M, Macy's. Um, I put this one on. Uh, what did I do on this one? So I did Macy's. Um, on the call side, I did 43, put side 30, which is I go close to 90, 10% probability of in the money on each side. So basically, delta is if you can't get that from your broker, uh, shoot for delta 10. And it put size delta minus 10 and the call side delta 10. Um, so that's 43 was on the call, 30 was on the put, and um, what did we, yeah, for both of them, we collected roughly, I think, yeah, about 57 cents. And uh, hopefully we're gonna close them in about 27 days, hopefully sooner. At the longest, I've done like 38 days, but, uh, in about three, two, three weeks, maybe four weeks, when I buy them back, whether I'm successful at it or not, I do another video to show you how I went. Um, if you look up here, it, it'll show you the history of the uh, the trades that I put on and closed with a profit. Um, it's a playlist that I created um you, you go through that and, and you know you'll see how i've done this and uh, if you have any questions just subscribe like this video and shoot me an email uh, if you have any questions just ask uh let's see what it does that's about it guys have a nice day happy trading bye